repent or perish. There's no middle ground. You can't do what you want. It's not all about you. You either got to repent from your life and put God first and live according to the precepts of God or you're going to live according to the precepts of the world and then when you face God, you're going to suffer the consequences. It's going to be the same for me. It's going to be the same for anybody watching this video, whether you believe it or not, whether you trust in God or not, whether you think I'm, I'm crazy or not, it doesn't matter. God created the world. God created the universe. God created everything seen and unseen. There's laws, there's principalities, there's things going on that we can't see, that we can't understand. But we know that God has set eternity in the hearts of men because you feel it in your inner core. You know that there's something going on. You know that there's something behind all of this. The most important thing that I want you to get from this video is that you gotta repent or, per or perish. Luke chapter 12, verses 49 to 46. I have come to bring fire on the earth. This is Jesus talking. And how I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to undergo. And how distressed I am until it is complete. Do you think I came to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but division. From now on, there will be five in one family divided against each other. Three against two and two against three. They will be divided father against son and son against father. Mother against daughter and daughter against mother. Mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. He said to the crowd, When you see a cloud rising in the west, immediately you say it's going to rain. And it does. And when the south wind blows, you say it's going to be hot. And it is. Hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. How is it that you don't know how to interpret this present time? The most important thing I want you to get from this is that Jesus was not a go-along to get-along guy. Jesus was not somebody that was going to people-please others. Jesus challenged you in a core. Jesus challenged the inner core of most people. Jesus was God in the flesh, whether you believe it or not. The creator of the universe came down to us here on earth as God in the flesh. The apostles, they left their entire families to follow Jesus. You've got to recognize the times that we live in and be prepared to have the tough conversations with people. Jesus didn't come here just to be able to have nice conversations with people. Jesus came here to send a direct message that we're in a war, that there's going to be divisions, that there's going to be problems, that you're going to have issues with your family, you're going to have issues with your so-called friends, that you're going to have issues with your job, you're going to have issues with your mother-in-law, you're going to have issues with your daughter-in-law, you're going to have issues with your father, your mother, your brother, your sisters, everybody. From now on, there'll be five in one family, verse 52, divided against each other. Three against two and two against three. Because not everybody's going to be saved. And not everybody has a godly, repentant heart to do the right things. So when you see all these things going on all around you and they tell you to not believe what your eyes and your ears are seeing and hearing, when they want you to believe what they want you to believe, that doesn't make sense. Understand that it is a battle. It is a spiritual war that's going on. And you're going to have divisions with these people. But I'm here to tell you to not be afraid of them. To not be afraid of the divisions. Embrace the divisions. As you repent, as you renew yourself, as you operate at a higher frequency, as you renew yourself spiritually inside, as you take on the fruits of the Spirit, and lose the sinful nature. As God is renewing you day after day, moment after moment, the divisions that you find yourself in as you get stronger, they're going to become weaker. As they become weaker, as you gravitate more towards God, you will become stronger because you're being baptized in the fire. 
You're being refined like a piece of gold. Like a diamond. You were rough. You had this rough exterior. You had these issues, these things that you dealt with in your life. But you've been refined. And what, be what, what better way to be refined than by the creator of the universe? How amazing is that? Embrace the divisions. Embrace the difficult times that you'll face as you change your life. As you take on the fruits of the spirit. As you try and do the right things. And fight the good fight. Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 5. Now there were some present at that time who told Jesus about the Galileans. Whose blood Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Jesus answered, do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Or those 18 who died when the Tower of Siloam fell on them. Do you think they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem? I tell you no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. You know what Nike says? Just do it. Just do it. Repent. Turn to God. Get baptized. Take on the fruits of the Spirit. Do not think that you're smarter than God. Do not think that anything that you believe that you can overcome, that you can do it on your own. Yeah, you can follow inspirational people that only believe and are only focused on the things of this world, the things of this life. But I find that a lot of these people, these so-called motivational speakers and all these things, I hear so many things about them, how they're miserable, how they want to kill themselves. Because they're missing the most important part. They're missing the fruits of the Spirit. They're missing God, the creator of the universe. Which is the most motivational aspect that anybody could ever get. Because God motivates people. God fulfills where the world just takes and leaves you empty. We're all going to go. We're all going to die. I know a guy right now. From time to time, I do smoke cigars. From time to time, I do smoke cigars because... When you're out there in the world, whenever I travel around the world, I find a, a local cigar place. Because I know when I find a local cigar place besides a church or any place that's spiritual, I'm going to find a higher caliber of people. But there's a guy I know right now who was just diagnosed with cancer and they gave him three to six months. And I said, listen, man, God's in control of everything. We're all going to die. I'm going to die. He's going to die. He's going to die. And you've been given three to six months. But you know what? Just the other day, I was 10 years old. Just the other day, I was 25. Now here I am. Now here you are. You're 65. If you want to talk about getting right with God, if you want to dig in the scripture, if you want to dig in the prayer, I'm a moment away. Here's my phone number. Let's have the conversation. Because the next three to six months, they're going to go by like that. The next 20 years of my life, they're going to go just like that. What's most important in life is that you make it to the kingdom of heaven. He believes in God. But yet he hasn't fully repented. He drinks. He, he focuses on the things of this world. Enjoying and having a good, a good time. But not on the things of attorney, not on the things as if searching for it as if it is a treasure, as if it is a billion dollars by having a relationship with God. He is still focused on and having a good time. I saw him again. And he says, I'm focused on having a good time before I go. And I said, I, I thought to myself, I said, this guy, why would I want to enjoy these momentary times? For what? Because when I face God, I'm going to be held accountable for all of these stupid decisions that I've made. You gotta make the right decisions, people. You gotta embrace the fruits of the Spirit. You gotta stop thinking it's all about you. You gotta stop repaying evil with evil. You gotta live according to the patents of God and not live according to the patents of this world. Stop living according to the patents of this world. 
It doesn't matter about what happened to you in your life. It doesn't matter if you're a worse sinner or not, if you're a murderer or not. The Bible says, repent, turn to God, be baptized for the forgiveness of sins so that you will not perish. Stop swearing. Men, stop being deceived by women. Women, stop letting the world tell you that it's okay to be manly, that you're an independent woman. This is stupid. And any man that lets his wife act like that is another fool. Stop letting the world deceive you into thinking that it's okay to take on manly traits, and this is for women. Stop thinking that it's okay to get stuck in terrible jobs that suck the life out of you and make you feel unfulfilled. As Christians, as, as disciples of Jesus Christ, as followers of the way, as Israel, whatever you want to call us, whatever you want to call yourself, it doesn't matter. All that matters is doing the right things according to, to the word. All that, that matters is doing the, the right things according to God. Only thing that matters is living this life that we honor God with our body, that we live according to the precepts of the scriptures, that we live according to the, of the precepts of the word of God by doing the right things, by helping as many people as possible, by inspiring as many people as possible and teaching them what they need to do in order to get saved and helping them teach other people so that they can also be saved. That's the mission. But while we're in the middle of things, while we're in the fight doing these things, we still have to make a living. And we need to choose wisely where we work, who, who we work with, what we do. All these things are important. So I see all these people working unfulfilled, terrible jobs, killing themselves. For what? Life is too short. You want to be able to spend time with your family. You want to be able to be a leader. Men, you should not have your wives working. Why would you have your wife at a job calling another man sir? The only sir that they should, they should be calling sir is you. Because you're the leader. You have the strength. You're the one that God set as the leader. God, man, and then woman. It doesn't go God, woman, man. Women do not teach men Men teach women. Women can teach other women, but women should not be leading men. And when that happens, we get into all kinds of trouble. And we see that in the society that we live in, especially here in the West. And you can get mad at me all you want, but that's the truth. And I'm not going to get I'm not going to get away from that. And there's no way that I'm going to back down from that because that is the truth. And if you don't like it, change your channel. But those are the facts. And we have all the proof in the pudding that all of these things have caused problems in our society. At the end of the day, we all want to make it to the heavenly kingdom. If you don't, that's fine. That's your choice. You can go on. You can be the rich fool. You can think that you can do whatever you want. But your life is going to go by. And if you think that your life's going to go by and it's just going to be over, you think your energy is just going to go nowhere? No. Your soul goes back to God. You're going to have a new body. You're in your human body right now on this plane, on this planet, wherever we are, wherever God designated us to be at, wherever we are in the spectrum of things, here we are. But we will be somewhere else in a different body, in a different spirit. And we all need to be prepared for that because in this life, we are training our souls to do the right things and we need to honor God the right way. So I encourage you, repent or perish. It's that simple. One plus one, plus one is two. If you're overeating, if you're overweight, stop eating. If you're living crazy lifestyles, stop living those lifestyles. Cut out those people. Make the difficult decisions. Become a leader. Dig into the scripture. Contact me if you need help. Time is short. We have all the tools necessary to be able to accomplish what we need to do spiritually to be able to make it to heaven. You just got to have the right focus, the right mindset, the strength to do it.
If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. Links are down below, BereanMan.Locals.com. If you do want to support the channel, the best way to do so, it's $7 per month. I will go into depth. I will go into depth specifically on scriptures, and I will work with individuals with whatever they need, whatever questions they have on everything that I've been covering and that I will cover. And in that subscription, in that private community, there will things that I will get into that we can't discuss on this channel, that we can't talk about. And you know why we can't talk about it. Because we've seen what's happened the last four years. And the lies that have been perpetrated and so many people fell for it. But I suspect if you're watching this channel, you at least in some capacity love the truth. Or at least want to know more about the truth and less about the lies of men. So I, I appreciate you watching. Comment down below with any questions or concerns. I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.